In this episode, we explore a town called Newberry Springs, where part of the neighborhood has been completely taken over and covered in sand. Located in the western Mojave Desert in California, this town was named after a spring that supplied water to the local Santa Fe Railroad. While Newberry Springs is still an active town, this area has been buried under sand dunes due to very high winds. In the early 1990s, the residents had to abandon their homes because of the endless buildup of sand and dust. Mostly all of the structures are filled with sand, even as high as the ceiling. These ruins gives us a glimpse into this neighborhood's past and the possible future of other areas plagued by drought. What's up guys? We're here at our next explore. This place is a little bit different than usual because it's completely covered by sand. We're in the middle of the desert and this house and the other houses around here have been completely taken over by the dunes with the wind and everything like that. Usually we see regular type of decay. This is a whole nother level with sand. So let's go see how high the sand is. I think it's almost to the ceiling in the one that we're standing in front of right now. So that's pretty crazy to see. Let's go take a look. There's bullets all over. Shocking. They're just all over the place. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is a huge incline right here. If you look around, cars all the way up there, and it dips down and goes back up and some people drive on this stuff, but you can tell that the wind blows it all up to a big hill. So it looks like we're going to probably be almost on the ceiling, the height that it's at now. It's hard to walk on it because it wants to just kind of give way underneath you. Wow. This is definitely the roof. We are standing so high up that this is the, the shingles. And you can see the chimney over this way. I don't even think there's a way in this one. I think it's completely engulfed. Ooh, look at these beetles. Those are the kind of beetles that you see from Aladdin, it looks like. These black ones are all over the floor. Wow. Imagine your house being completely engulfed by sand. That is nuts. I wonder where the front door was. Let's try to find it. Probably somewhere over here. But you can tell, like most houses out here in the middle of the desert, they use a lot of concrete. Looks like there's been some fire too, because you can see the burn marks on the wood. How would you even dig this all out? I don't think it can be saved. The landscape is really cool. We're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And it's all just desert. And there's loads of random things just kind of lying in the sand from the neighborhood. There's a cooler over there, shoes, tons of tires. 
I don't know what the deal is with the tires, but loads of tires. Now, we can see on Google Earth that there was at least two structures over this way. We're going to go see if they're completely engulfed or not. Like this one. It's so hot out here, but there's so much debris and decayed stuff all over this lot. Tires, pieces of a house. I just thought this was interesting. You see these like full circles around these plants? I guess that's from the leaves blowing in a circle direction. This place is so desolate and dead. Pretty nuts. Never been to a desert like this before. Now this is an animal print of some sort. I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody would know what they are. I'm not familiar with the kind of animals out here. Definitely a weird looking print. It's gonna be really hard to see, but there's this little lizard right here. He's gonna scurry. Oop. Runs. He's so tiny. I hope that this makes sense. But you see him right here? I'll try to go slow. He's so little. Whew. Pretty fast for a little guy. It's just so dry out here. Everything's dead. Imagine metal detecting through this place. The things you'll find are probably cool. Piece of metal still. Now to me this seems like this was a road at one point because you got the barrier rocks and some poles. Pretty flat in this spot, so I think this is probably one of the roads. It's also covered completely by sand. Getting pretty far. Cars all the way out there. You can see piping right here. So something definitely was standing here at one point. This is weird. I wonder what this was. It's like in a circle surrounded by sandbags and knob wire. Pretty weird. This is definitely some more debris from a structure of some sort. It's definitely probably a structure here. It's no longer here. steady sand. Can't even go up this hill because since it's blown by the wind, it doesn't really want to stay put. I'll make it. Here we go. I love seeing the waves of the sand. So cool. So it looks like as we approach this hill, we can see our next sunken house. That thing too is completely covered. I'm surprised that it's made out of wood. You see like some sort of container there for something. And maybe 
So there's a fenced in area. So there's poles and a square formation. Yeah, this thing is covered. I can't believe it all blew inside like that. That's so crazy to me. Got that air conditioning tubes, I guess. Look how warped it is from the weight. It just pushes down so much weight on the roof. I guess it couldn't handle it. Pretty long house. Maybe we can see a little bit on the inside from the side. That looks like a window frame. It's hard to imagine how low the ground really should be. You can't tell what the, the bottom is. Obviously there's a cloth there of some sort, but this one is completely, as well, sunken in, which is wild. Imagine coming back to see your old house, and it's sunken in like that. It's probably old wallpaper. You can definitely see where it gets its name from. The sunken city. Everything's just covered in sand. It's so crazy. Now there are some active properties around here. Like someone lives down there. This place looks abandoned. But knowing that this place is sunken in by sand, I wouldn't want to live around here. So this looks like another house. Let's see how sunken in this one is. The dunes are crazy up here. Somehow, this building did not get sunken in. Pretty creepy. Kind of look like um, a Care Bear, but as a bunny. Yeah. This kind of seems like a tool shed or something like that. And it's a, uh, yeah, definitely a work area. I can try to get in here, but I gotta be careful. Because this thing does not want to move. But look. Wow, look at this thing. This is cool. No Pokemon walkie talkie thing. Oh, uh, vintage Pokemon walkie-talkie. Looks like they just got up and left everything. This must have been their water heater, water tank or something. And all of these lockers, I'm assume, held stuff. That's crazy though, look how the sand just went all the way up and around from the inside. Weird how it blew around in here. Ugh. Nasty. Wow. I 
Now, I don't know what this tank thing is over here. Maybe that's the water tank? I don't know. The thing is huge, though. Look at this house, though. Holy crap. This thing is so sunken in, too. It's bigger than the other two houses that we saw. Looks like it's caving in the windows and the roof. And there's another building there. That's insane. So high. There's a little bit of sparkle on the floor here. I wonder if there's a different kind of minerals in the sand. My shadow is blocking it. It's so bright. Now let's try to <laughs> see what we can see in here. Holy crud. I don't know what's in that jar. It's like some weird stuff. But look at this. Here's the door handle. Whoa. This is a cement room. Maybe there's an animal in here. I hear something. Ah! <laughs> you are in there. What kind of animal are you? Roadrunner? Something? He was in there, and then I slipped. <laughs> He's up in this port. Sorry, dude. I'm impeding on your sunken in home. <laughs> that is wild. The roof gone in this one, obviously. Wow. That wasn't that smart, was that? Whew. Okay, moving on. I just smashed my head into the wall. I'm trying to get out. Because I forgot that the door is half as tall. Even though I'm short, I smashed my face. Anyway, this one goes all the way up to the ceiling. You can see the insulation. <coughs> Can't see nothing. Oh, it's so hot. Let's see if we can see anything from this side. Maybe. But it definitely was like abandoned before the sand took over because we got a lot of wood planks on the windows. Little feet, spy lizard. Yeah, that looks like lizard feet. This is the garage. Wow. Seems like it was the garage. You can stand all the way up to the top. Now you can see we do have some active houses around, but all the ones on this side are part of the sunken neighborhood. It's really weird how only these houses got all these sand issues and the other ones don't. I guess it's all about keep up, keeping up with stuff out here. We're not from here, so we don't really understand what it's like to have a house in the middle of the desert. Like, do these people have to remove the sand? How does that all work? That's what I want to know. It's definitely a weird thing to have to deal with. We just got to deal with hurricanes and thunderstorms and stuff. They got to deal with sandstorms and and dunes. 
that eat your house up. So I'm assuming this was a garage, three stalls. Again, you got a lot of random kid stuff. This looks like part of a like baby stroller for a doll. Got some weird fabrics out here. I don't know what that is. It's all purple. That looks like a shirt. It's definitely a shirt. That. that is pretty creepy. It's a baby dog with no head. Yeah, that's really cool. Got a stuffed animal here. Pretty cool. Here's an old radio. There are a bunch more objects in here. This time, let's not smash her head on the doorway. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's all their stuff in here. My camera is starting to say too hot again. And it's overheating. It's probably like 100 degrees out here in the desert. Easy. Well, that's definitely a vacuum. Part of a dollhouse. Got lots of papers here. Like school papers. I have a grandma who I only see on Halloween. Last Halloween, my mom didn't want her to come. She brought candy, something I can't understand, garlic for something, it's hard to tell with kids writing, and carved pumpkins. So mom said to go to bed. Can grandma read us a story? Huh. So kids lived here, as we can tell. Maybe we can find a year in this. Science Diary. Huh, this is the ninth. Maybe there's a year in the back? No. Gotta be something with the air in here. This looks like projects. 2000. Happy Thanksgiving. Valerie. I guess her name was Valerie. So many random things. Puzzle pieces. Ceramics. Wrapped things. More ammunition. Shoes and old electronics. Speaker. TV. things. I can see clothes. Again, more clothes. Lots of kid stuff. Lots of regular stuff you'd find. Books. That's probably one of those writing things, yeah. More teddy bears. That's pretty sad. It's all left here like that. This is some kid's memories. 
some more furniture, There's some refrigerators, washers. This looks like an old table or something. This is crazy. What's this? Oh, something on here. It's buried. This is crazy. Imagine your home being taken over by sand. This was definitely part of mattresses. An old bench, I think. Some more tires. An old fan. So cool. Toys all over. 1995. And some more furniture. No cookie jar or something. I don't know what this is. It's a national park jar. It's an army helicopter. We're all done here. You can imagine how many more homes were under all of this sand. It's insane. But yeah, we're gonna head out of here. It's really hot. <laughs> we're burning. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. And our pictures will be on our Instagrams at oxidize93, real Zach, and our combined page, Urbex Vibes. We out. See you next time. Oh, hike back to the car. It's all the way over there, that little black thing. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know how these people drive through here. They probably have like some ATVs or four wheelers or some sort of thing. Because this Grand is Cherokee might do it, but we're not trying. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a rental. We got to be able to get back and out of here. It is so dry here, though. Once we're in that car, we're going to get something to drink. If we can find somewhere, we might have to drink from a lake. <laughs> God damn. We got warm ones in the back. Yeah. It'll probably be boiling, but. Yeah. We got remote start. Yep. So I'm gonna start this thing way ahead of time. <laughs> and hopefully there's no weird neighbors out our car. Yeah. I don't see a hillbilly with a shotgun. Yes. Apparently, uh, just a <laughs> observation that we've had here while we've been exploring different places all through the different states we've been going. They're very strange and about curious. New Yorkers yeah. and keep bringing up Oh, you're from New York and like have like weird like talk to us weird about it and stuff and it just kind of you don't feel like you're at home here they definitely treat you like an outsider yeah. at hotels other people rolling up to us at other bandos it, they're, it's not like at home they definitely act a little different with people that are not from here and I kind of don't eh, in a way kind of blame them if you live in the middle yeah. of this desert <laughs> you're probably like what the hell are these people doing here Some and strange why strange people how they even know how to get here like <laughs> you know that's what I'd be thinking too but a little bit too nosy for us
Yeah. How you and there we speak, you know. Everyone got That's, different accents from where you're yeah. from. Exactly. They're like, oh, you once from we New York? All, yeah, <laughs> once we talk to somebody, like reply to somebody while talking to us, they knew we were from New York. I'm like, how the hell? Well, I'm wearing a Yankees hat. But that doesn't really mean much. Yeah. You can wear whatever you want to wear. We don't do that back at home. We're not like, oh, you sound like you're from yeah. Texas. We'll just let you be. <laughs> Everybody comes from everywhere to where we live, you know? It's a melting pot. On per that's what we're known for. Out here, it's just... One type of people. Yeah, yeah. It's One type people of people. Live here, <laughs> and you can tell they've lived here their whole lives. And <coughs> just aren't used to Outsiders. seeing uh, weird things, yeah. yeah. Pretty normal to us, though. Yeah, let's get home. Well, not home. Let's get to the damn car. The car is our home for <laughs> <Yeah>. this week. 